This weather report is brought to you by Gumbaya World. Hello again. There's no other word to describe our weather than glorious. We've said goodbye to the summer extremes. We're in a really good stretch of settled weather and our warming trend continues. Today, magnificent bl bright blue skies made the day look good from every angle. 10 degrees was our overnight low, the city reaching a top of 27. And outside now, it is divine. We're holding around the mid-20s in most suburbs, 20 over in Geelong. The clear skies extending right across the state, but those easterly winds are cooling things down in the east. Now it is another night, an uh, easy night here in the city, clear and mild before we drop down to an overnight low of 12 degrees. We have had a really good run but we are tracking an active trough which is moving through South Australia and it extends into Western Victoria tomorrow. So we will see showers and thunderstorms passing over the state over the next two to three days. That system isn't with us here in, in the city until Thursday so it's a good opportunity to give the garden some water before it does dry out again as we head into the weekend. And we're reaching new heights this time next week as we head into the mid-30s. As for pollen levels, high today and tomorrow, moderate on Thursday. To the forecast now, warm and dry in Brisbane. We've got heat wave conditions over Perth, while a band of showers and storms moving through Adelaide. Those showers reach Victoria tomorrow. Western parts with the potential for thunderstorms, they could be severe. It is unlikely we'll see that activity over central parts until after midnight. So during the day, it will be dry and mostly warm over central and eastern districts. Melbourne and Geelong tomorrow, mostly sunny and we'll start to see that cloud building in the afternoon as that system approaches. A moderate breeze, the temperature rising. We should get to 29 in Melton, 30 in Essendon. A top of 29 in the city tomorrow, warmer than today. Just a little bit more cloud as well. Thursday, a shower or two and a possible storm, 27. Less likely on Friday. 24 all dry by Christmas Eve so no major changes to your Christmas forecast is looking really good 28 for the big day 30 on Boxing Day and I'd say that is a Christmas miracle Mike oh hallelujah <laughs> to that thanks Tom and that's seven news for this Tuesday stay tuned for the Big Bash coming up next live from the Adelaide Oval for now from the team take care have a great night